Hi, this is Natasha with XI Computer, and today we're looking at our latest and greatest dual processor XI M Tower 2P64X workstation based on the 14 core Intel Xeon version 3 CPU E52697 with 128GB DDR4 memory and an NVIDIA Quadro K5200 video card. Now let's look at how we build the box. For this build, we use a soundproof Cosmos 2 case. This award-winning racecar-inspired design case has an optimized airflow design to minimize noise. For the ones that don't like the lights and the front fan, there's a button here that can turn them on and off. And there's also a button that controls the speed of the fan. Also, the fans are controlled internally by the BIOS according to the temperature of the case. The case has some nice input and output ports, two USB 3.0s, two USB 2.0s, a mic input, audio output, and an eSATA port. In addition to this build, there are two Blu-ray burners and two 4-in-1 hot swap removable trays. Sliding up the front panel, we can see the front air intake fan with filter. Also, there are filter air intakes on both side panels, which are double layered to isolate inside noise. Now let's open the case and see how it's built inside. We open the case. First thing we're noticing, the motherboard of choice is a Supermicro X10 DAI. It supports two Xeon CPU version 3, in this case E52697 with oversized air coolers. It has three PCIe 3.0 16x, two PCIe 8x, and one 1x. It supports up to one terabyte of DDR4 registered ECC 2133 MHz, here populated to 128 gigabyte. 2 gigabit Ethernet network, 10 SATA, 6 gigabit per second are included, and of course, 10 USB 2.0 and 3.0. A 7.1 high definition sound is also on board as the main use of this build is a workstation. We can see here is the NVIDIA Quadro K5200 new generation professional video card from the NVIDIA Quadro line. It has 8 gigabytes of DDR5 video RAM, 2,304 CUDA cores that can be used both for visualization and for computation as a coprocessor for the CPU. It can support three monitors, of which one 4K resolution, like we have here. Two additional Xeon Phi or Tesla K40 or K80 can be installed in this build to make it a powerful desktop HPC. The two 4-in-1 hot swap trays are fully populated with 8x 1TB Samsung EVO SSD drives in RAID 5 configuration with an LSI Mega RAID controller with 1GB of cache, producing over 6TB of net disk capacity with redundancy and speed at the same time. For the power supply, which is 1500 watt, 80 plus bronze, 87% efficient. It's a modular power supply and is quiet. The modularity of it allows to keep the traffic of the cables at the minimum required. So as you can see here, it's pretty clean and neat the way we route the cables behind the panel and then they come up where they're needed. Should be noted, there's a slide out filter underneath the power supply. In addition to the exposed hard drive bays, there are up to 13 hard drive cages, six of them behind this double fan tray. Great expandability. And that's about it for this inside look. Here we go at the benchmark session of this video, and you guys can see from CPU's utility that CPU here is clocked at 2.6 GHz with a Turbo Boost maximum 1 core clock speed of 3.6 GHz. Each CPU has 14 cores and 28 threads for a total here of 28 cores and 56 threads, ideal for simulations and renderings. We're skipping some benchmark that would privilege a single core performance, but we would like to show you one that is most relying on multi-core performance where this system really shines. The test we're going to present is a Synbench from Maxon Corporation that is using a tile rendering algorithm. In running the test, we can see the 56 threads processing at once with high speed and of course the record-breaking number here is 3960 on the rendering part. The frame per second mark is also quite respectable thanks to the Quadro K5200. We also ran the same test selecting only 4 cores just to show the great advantage of so many cores in the rendering application and for any parallel multi-threaded computations. As you can see, you get a score of 503 with 4 cores versus 3960 and you get with 26 cores and 56 threads. This concludes the test portion of our presentation. 
For more information about the configuration, the build, and the performance number of the benchmarks, there are links on YouTube as well as on our website. Visiting our website, you'll be able to configure this and other workstations and servers, as well as take advantage of our ongoing discounts and promotions. Thank you very much for viewing this video. See you at xicomputer.com.